Hey, what's going on, guys? Goose here, man. Got another video for you. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and, uh, and also give the video a thumbs up. All right, so Saints, Saints were victorious 30 to 9 over the New York Jets. I mean, there's not really much to say about this football game. The Saints played, I mean, they still can't throw, they still have problems throwing the football. Uh, Saints, uh, I mean, they beat a bad football team yesterday. Uh, Saints still are on the fringe of the playoffs. Uh, a lot of things need to go their way if uh, they want to make the playoffs. Uh, or they got to they got to win three of the next they got three of the next four. Uh, they got to win at least three of the next four. They got to win if they want to have uh, any shot at the playoffs. But let's look at the game yesterday as uh, Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara came back and he was the, he was the bell cow on the ground. Uh, he had 120 yards on the ground. 27 carries, so uh, he had he had the bulk of the load on the carries, which is not surprising just because of uh, Mark Ingram being out, also Ty Montgomery being out. So uh, two running backs being out really uh, really you know put the Saints in a bind. So it was a it was Kamara and Taysom Hill show running the football as Hill had 73 yards on the ground and Kamara had 120. Tony Jones. He he chipped in with ten yards rushing. I mean he's he's been a major disappointment this year. Uh, we probably should have kept Latavius Murray uh, in hindsight, but it's always twenty twenty. On that note, but if you want if you want to look at a good thing about Taysom Hill, he didn't throw four interceptions uh, today like he did last week against uh, against Dallas. So at least Taysom Hill didn't throw at least Taysom Hill didn't throw four interceptions uh, yesterday. But he was uh, he I mean he was. <sighs> 15 out of 21, 175. We still can't stretch the field. Um, Saints still can't stretch the field uh, on offense. I mean, it's just, it just, it is what it is. This is what their offense. This is what their offense is going to be uh, for the rest of the year. It's just, it's just not going to be. It's not going to be what we're used to seeing uh, under Sean Payton, and it's not going to be that way until uh, probably, you know, until they get a quarterback that actually can throw the football. That's why it really sucked when uh, Jameis Winston got hurt. I thought he was playing well. Uh, curious to see uh, if they resign Winston next year uh, to a contract and what kind of contract he can get next year. Uh, but look, the Saints did what they had to do uh, against a bad football team. Uh, they didn't give him any touchdowns, which hey, that's good. Uh, you know, the defense defense played well yesterday. You know, I know who I know who they. I mean, you got to think about who they played, but the defense still did their job against a bad football team. And not giving up any touchdowns in the game. So look, it is what it is. Saints went the Saints get the victory. They're six and seven. And now they gotta go on the road and face Tampa Bay next week on Sunday night. So by I mean, uh, uh, I mean it's I mean, if you're asking me right now, they're gonna win, I'm gonna say no. I mean, if anybody's watched these two teams play the last uh, several weeks, you no, know, one is ascending, one is descending. And the Saints are descending down. But um hey, we'll see what happens next week. Against Tampa Bay, uh, if the Saints do pull that game out by some miracle, uh, then I think they have a very good chance of making the playoffs. But because I mean, because they got they got to win four of the next five. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's all. That's not, that's really not much to talk about this game. Really, really not much to talk about. Saints did what they had to do. Uh, uh, they, I mean, just well, it wasn't it really. It wasn't. It wasn't a flashy game. It wasn't something that's wow, man. The Saints' offense is back, you know. But it's just, it just. This is what their offense is going to be. Uh, it's going to be very, very, uh, you no, know, uh, mediocre at best offense. And you just got to hope the defense can uh, get a turnover or two in the game. And uh, man, that's 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 how the Saints are going to win. So hopefully, hopefully Ingram can come back next week, and Ty Montgomery can come back. And then we'll have three healthy running backs uh, against uh, the Buccaneers. Hopefully, uh, hopefully those guys can come back uh, from uh, from uh, off the COVID list. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you guys tonight for the Monday Night Football game, and uh, have a good one. Who that?